Can anybody guess what kind of reaction this is without looking and looking at it? How do you know it's an SM1? How do you know it's not an SM2 reaction? Because it's, it's a tertiary alkyl halide. Okay, very good. Okay, so not only that, you got um, a weak base or a weak nucleophile, I guess I should say. Okay, so um, I'm going to erase this and we'll do the next. Okay, just like you guys said. Since we've got a tertiary alkyl halide, and this um, being on the benzoic position makes it, it react even faster as an SN1 reaction because, as you can see up there, we've got a lot of resonance structures, which I'm not going to draw for you in this reaction, but you can figure them out yourself. The, um, solvent in this reaction is water, as you guys saw, which is a polar protic solvent, right? So that's going to pull that alkyl halide apart, right? So the first step of this SN1 reaction is going to be the leaving of the leaving group, right? So the leaving group leaves like that. that. Okay, the solvent is water, so there's a lot of it. If these two substituents were different, we would make a stereocenter here. Since they're both methyl groups, we're not going to. We're going to react like that. SP2, uh, so it can react from the top or from the bottom. Always want an attention. <coughs> like that. And of course, I guess we still have the BR minus floating around. Probably not that, that's the base. It's probably another water molecule. But you can think of that as the base, whatever you want. The probability of it being another water molecule is much higher, though, because of the concentration of water relative to Br minus ion. Okay? And that's going to give you your product. Okay. And then, of course, we've got H3O plus Br minus, which is the same thing as HBr. Okay. So, if it asks for the organic product, just that. Everybody cool with that? Mm -hmm. So again, I know you guys know SN1 reactions. They happen quite readily on tertiary alkyl halides. Especially benzylic ones, because this intermediate, the carbocation intermediate, has a lot of resonance structures where you can push that positive charge to this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, okay? So make sure you're able to push that around. May, I may ask you some question like that. Why is benzylic cation very stable, okay? So think about things like that. Is everybody okay with this one? Can we kill it? <laughs>